the government estimates that it needs 7.5 billion shillings to combat the spread of aflatoxin contamination in 10 maize growing counties which cumulatively lose an estimated 3 million bags of maize annually. However, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mwangi Kiunjuri says the government targets a maize production of 60 million 90 kilogram bags annually by minimizing post-harvest losses which is attributed to aflatoxin contamination. According to Kiunjuri, 20% of the 2 billion shillings allocated to subsidy programs will be channeled towards a funding subsidized aflatoxin program. We shall be able to set aside at least 200 million to buy AfraSafe for our farmers. Currently, a two kilogram packet of AfraSafe retails at 200 shillings, a price which the ministry acknowledges is out of reach to many farmers, considering an acre needs four kilos of AfraSafe. Farmers will continue to become poor because in some areas like Machakos County and other counties that are hotspots, sometimes they are, they are, they, we, we, have, we force them to destroy the whole crop, meaning those farmers, and nobody is cushioning them, they always go uh, make crosses. County governments in aflatoxin-prone areas have been urged to fund the program on a 50-50 basis with the national government to further reduce the prices. The most important thing that we are calling for is that we partner with the county government. Because again, by using Afratoc uh, AfraSafe, it is another additional cost to the farmers. Aflasafe has proven to be effective in fighting aflatoxin contamination by 70% with increased application expected to reduce cancer cases in the country and boost the country's food safety standards on the international market. Aflatoxin affects maize and groundnuts such as peanuts, staples of the diet of the people of Kenya. And it makes those staple foods unsuitable for human or animal consumption. It creates severe risks of illness and death 